Hey everybody, uh, this video is going to show you how to um, set up the RPG key for use in Lightroom, but specifically how to manipulate what the keys do. Um, so you're in Lightroom here. Um, the first thing you need to do if you're on a Mac is go down to the dock and find the RPG program and click on it. And then go up here to the menu system. It's running slow because of the screen capture. And click on Preferences. Okay. Um, on a PC, it's a little different. On a PC, you're going to go down to your system tray. The system tray is where the clock is. Okay, it's right there. You're going to look for the RPG icon and you're going to right click and you're going to select Options. Okay. Um, this window is what will open. It will take a second, but this is what's going to open. Um, it looks very similar on a Mac as it does on a PC. You're going to have a couple of tabs. You've got a library tab, a develop tab, a global preset tab, and a local preset tab. So first of all, the library module tab. This is where you get to decide how strong the purple keys are on the RPG key when you're in the library module of Lightroom. So right now I have all of the double arrows selected, which means every time I hit exposure, it's going to go up or down by a lot. Um, that's not how I choose to use the keyboard. I actually choose to use it with small adjustments in the library module. Okay. And a little bit bigger in the develop module. But so if you want, when you press your purple keys, if you want them to go up or down by small increments in the library module, select the buttons that have the single arrow on them. In the develop module, um, these numbers go from 1 to 20. They're, they're multipliers. So start with a number like 5 or 10, and if you don't like the way the key behaves, just change it, go up or down. If you want it to go, make larger adjustments, go up to 15, for example. If you want to make smaller adjustments, go down to 5. All right. So that's that. Um, we're going to do just the same stuff here on the Mac side. So here I am in Mac land. Um, again, this should look really familiar. Library, same types of buttons, okay? Um, develop, the numbers go from 1 to 20 again. This is how I have mine set up. Um, global presets, a word about global presets. That's another word that we use for library presets. If you're in the library module of Lightroom, and again, this is how to program the blue keys on your RPG key. Um, just under Quick Develop is a drop-down menu, and it shows you the names of all your presets. So I've got some of my favorite ones are by Kevin Kubota. We, of course, have teamed up with Kubota. Um, he's got one called BW Punchy, okay? Um, BW Remover. So if you wanted to make one of your blue keys activate one of your favorite presets, you go into Global Presets, and you go BW Space Remover, okay? You, if you make a typo, it will not work. So you absolutely have to have to have to spell it right. If you put a return or a space where it doesn't belong, it will not work. Um, one kind of word of caution is that a lot of presets are named differently in the library module as they are in the develop module. For example, this preset is actually named black ampersand white tasty, but in the library module it shows up as BW tasty. So please make sure that you spell it right. Okay, so that's how you do, you set up your blue keys. Um, and it's the same as it is in the uh, Mac as it is in the PC. Now, Lightroom 2.0 has something, a new feature called retouching presets. So I'm going to go from the library module to the develop module, and I'm going to open up my retouching panel. Right here is a drop-down menu, and it shows you okay, presets that you've saved. Um, your retouching menu may look like this with buttons, but we want you to go ahead and change it so that it looks like it's got the sliders. So you, you can move these sliders around to your liking to make adjustments, okay? Um, and let's say you want to save those adjustments. Go down here and hit save, save preset and call it XYZ, okay? We're going to hit create. Now, let's say that you want one of the red keys that's got numbers 1 through 12 on your keyboard to activate the XYZ retouching preset that you just created. There it is, okay? You're going to go into here, into your, into your uh, preferences or options panel on the PC, click on local presets, and you're going to first, let's say you want to do number one, you're going to say, okay, enable, and you're going to say XYZ, okay? Um, I want to activate that particular preset in my adjustment brush panel, so I'm going to click there, but perhaps I want to activate it in the gradient panel. I'm going to go there. And so I'm going to hit save, and now when I hit that button, it's going to take me from, the li from library 
to develop. It's going to open up my, my gradient panel, and boom, it's going to grab my XYZ preset. So that's how you do the presets. Um, so your options panel and on a PC or your preferences panel on a Mac is your key to manipulating how the behavior of the keys in Lightroom. Um, and as always, if you have problems or questions, just give us a buzz. We're happy to help you out. Um, cheers.